Good evening and welcome. Welcome to you at home. And I do sincerely hope that you are properly strapped in to witness another adrenaline-filled episode of UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. Hi, I'm Mohan Kapoor. And tonight is our final heats before we move into the semi-finals with three new teams about to display their superior knowledge. Kids now often think that their parents are being very strict when they urge them to persevere with their studies. And they are quite right. The word is taken from the Latin per meaning very and severus meaning strict. And it is nothing but the strictest discipline that's got tonight's three teams through the elimination rounds to beat out hundreds of others. Let's meet them before we put their perseverance to the test in our upcoming five rounds. Please join me in welcoming Delhi Private School, Sharjah. Welcome, boys. Please do give us your introductions. I'm Mohamed Azhar, and I'm, I'm in DPS School, Sharjah, and I study in grade 9. Welcome, and you are? My name is Roel Souza. I'm in grade 9, and I study in DPS, Sharjah. And I've also been given to believe that you all both are very interested and pretty good at the Rubik's Cube. What kind of timings do you all do? Uh, my personal best is 49 seconds. 49 seconds, you yeah. solve all the sides, all the colours. Mm, yeah. Yeah? I'll check on your diet later. What is it that you eat? Welcome and all the very best. And now I welcome you boys from Abu Dhabi Indian School, Abu Dhabi. Please give us your introductions. My name is Faiz Ahmad. I study in the grade 7 in Abu Dhabi Indian School. Welcome. And you are? My name is Ajit Chandrasekhar. I do study in grade 7 of the Indian School. Welcome, welcome. Fez, you're interested in quizzing? Yes. Have you done some before this? Yeah, I participated in the annually held idea contest held at my school, Abu Dhabi Indian School. And how did you fare? I came first twice and in my first attempt I came third. Wonderful. And what are your expectations from tonight? I expect, we expect to go on to the semi-final. All the very, very best. All the very best because you have with you competing Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi. Welcome, boys. Give us your introductions. So my name is Ashit Farhan. I'm from Grade 9, Emirates Future International Academy. And you are? And my name is Kevin, and uh, I'm studying Grade 9, Emirates Future International Academy. Are you all both regular quizzers? Are you all a team, or you all have just got together for tonight? No, oh, well, quizzing is my passion. I like to quiz. Have you been here before? Oh, yes, I have been. Last Which year, year was that? 2014. Oh, wonderful. Feeling confident with him? Yeah. Good. I'm feeling confident about all of you. You all are special. And you're even more special because today is the last of the heats. One of you today is going to go into the semi-finals that will begin from next week. Who will that be? Well, it's really great to have all our teams ready over here in the studio. I say good luck to each of you. Now, let's see who's fleet-footed and quick-witted in our first round, which is brought to you by none other than Malabar Chef. And this round is called Rapid Fire. Rules for round one, rapid fire. Six direct questions per team. In case you're not sure of the answer, say pass and we'll come back to the question if time permits. Five points for a correct answer. No negative points. 45 seconds to answer all questions. Are we ready? Okay, Delhi Private School, Sharjah. We'll begin with you. Question one. Which mountain peak is also called Chogori, K2 or Nanda Devi? K2. Absolutely right. Question two. Which is the only finger in the human hand that contains two bones? Thumb. Thumb is absolutely right. Good. Question three. What does A in the acronym of football's governing body, FIFA, stand for? Association. Absolutely right. Good on you. Question four. How is the magician, conjurer and escapologist Eric Weiss known to us? Huh? Question five. In the 19th century, between which two countries were the Opium Wars fought? China and Britain. Absolutely right. Question six. Charlie Chaplin was the director of the 1925 film Gold Rush. True or false? False. Incorrect. Not bad. You had a flying start, I say. Good on you. Good on you. Team B, which is Abu Dhabi Indian School, Abu Dhabi. Are you ready? Six questions, 45 seconds, and your first question is this. Which hit song of the Beatles was originally called Daisy Hawkins, Julia, or Eleanor Rigby? Pass. Question two. Name the oxygen-carrying protein present in the human blood. Hemoglobin. Absolutely right. Question three, besides English, which is the permanent official language of the International Olympic Committee? Pass. Question four. What is the food 
tofu made from? Soybeans. Absolutely right. Question five. Tarantula spiders get their name from a seaport in southern Italy. True or false? False. Incorrect. Question six. Which is the largest inland sea in the world? False. Okay, quickly again. Question one. Which hit song of the Beatles was originally called Daisy Hawkins? Julia or Eleanor Rigby? Julia. Incorrect. And I'm sorry, your time is up. Very good. All the best. Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi. Six questions. First one, coming up. Who was the first to cross the English Channel in an aeroplane? Louis Bellerio or Charles Lindbergh? I pass. Question two. On Earth, what are the Sirocco, Mistral and Chinook? Storms. Storms is incorrect. Question three. In 1961, which European city was divided by a wall? Uh, Berlin. Absolutely right. Question four. Which scale is used to measure the acid or alkali content of a substance? Uh, pH. Absolutely right. pH scale. Question five. Which Olympic track event has water ditches and fences as obstacles? Triathlon. Incorrect. Question six. The moon becomes larger on the horizon because it is closer to Earth. True or false? Uh, true. Incorrect. And time. Good display. In fact, I should say bordering on great display by our young geniuses there. The rational choice theory assumes humans act to maximize benefits when making a decision. Well, let's see if our teams will choose rationally and maximize their points in the next round, which is brought to you by Skyline University College, called Scategories. Rules for round two, categories. We will start with the lowest scoring team. Each team gets to choose only one category out of six. Ten points for a correct answer. If the team does not know the answer, then the question passes on to the next team for ten points. Ten seconds to answer a direct question, five seconds to answer a past question. We will begin categories with the lowest scoring team and then work our way in an ascending order as per the scores. Okay? And as per my records at this point of time, the lowest scoring team is Team B, Abu Dhabi Indian School Abu Dhabi. Don't worry, this is the opportunity for you to kickstart the big scores. The six categories in categories for you are history, literature, travel, comics, invention, sport. Your, your choice would be history. That's really good. Your question for history is, the great ancient city of Machu Picchu in Peru was built during the reign of which civilization? Inca. Absolutely right, Incas, well done. Moving on to Emirates Future International Academy Abu Dhabi, the five categories that are balanced and we present them to you. They are literature, travel, comics, invention and sport. What would you choose? Invention. Invention, great. Invention it is. Your question for invention is as follows. The invention of which musical instrument is attributed to Bartholomew Cristofori? The harp. The harp? That's incorrect. Would you like to take a guess for five points, Delhi Private School Sharjah? Violin. Violin is also incorrect. You get a chance, Abu Dhabi Indian School Abu Dhabi. Accordion. Accordion, that's incorrect. The answer is piano. Bafalo mio Cristofori invented the piano. I overheard you say that you were about to say piano. Wow, that would have been good. That would have been sweet victory for you. But doesn't matter, it is your turn. Now you get to answer for 10 points, okay? And the balance categories that are left for you in this round are as follows. Literature, travel, comics, sport. What do you choose? Sport. Sport? Fair enough. And your question for sport would be, which format of cricket was included as a medal sport at the 2010 Guangzhou Asian Games? T20. T20 it is. Well done, well done, Delhi Private School, Sharjah. Well, it's exhilarating just watching our teams duel for glory. We're not even halfway through yet. But if our teams are going to persevere with this level of intensity, they'll be needing to catch their breath. Well, we'll take a quick break. See you back here in just a moment for more quizzical quizzing on Star Plus, the world's leading Hindi entertainment channel. Hey, 
Jane, you're back with us on UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. The unit of measurement for gemstones is the carat, which comes from the Greek keration, or carob bean, the ancient standard for weighing small quantities equivalent to 200 milligrams. Our Star Quiz Challenge rolling trophy weighs more carob beans than you can shake a stick at. So whoever gets to take it home will have to be as physically fit as they are mentally. In hot pursuit of that trophy are three teams gathered here tonight. Let's see where things sit after our first two grueling rounds. Standing at second runner-up position for now are the boys from Emirates Future International Academy Abu Dhabi with 10 points. You gotta buck up. Let's see what the first runner-up has to say when he hears his scores of 20 points, Abu Dhabi Indian School Abu Dhabi. But let's see what the winner with 30 points as of now, Delhi Private School Sharjah has for us. 30, that's a smile, that's a beaming smile. We're gonna take a step closer to finding tonight's winner with our third round, brought to you by Max, which we call Starkey. Rules for round three, Starcade. Each team gets an assigned question, which is a series of clues on a thing, a place, personality, event, monument, or animal. The first clue is the max clue, worth 20 points. If the team misses or answers incorrectly, they get a second clue, worth 10 points. If the team still misses or passes, they get a third clue, worth five points. Questions do not pass in this round. May I invite em Emirates Future International Academy Abu Dhabi to kickstart this round, okay? For you in Starcade, the max clue won for 20 points. Clue is, her middle name is Joanna and she played one of the female leads in the sitcom Friends. For max clue, 20 points. And another second clue. Second clue for 10 points. She was once married to actor Brad Pitt. Mm. You confused about whose marriage, Brad's or hers? I uh, know, they have no clue about that. Third clue? Yeah. For five points? Yes. Yeah. Okay, here's a picture of her. Take a look and tell us. Oh, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston it is. Well done, five points. Good on you, well done. Moving on to Delhi Private School, Sharjah. Your max clue won for 20 points. This British car manufacturing company, creators of the Silver Ghost, was set up in 1904. Rolls-Royce? Absolutely right, Rolls-Royce. 20 points in your kitty. Well done, well done, boys. Abu Dhabi Indian School, Abu Dhabi, are you ready? You sure? Good, because for 20 points, here you come with Max Clue 1. This self-obsessed character first appeared in 1942 and has subsequently appeared in nearly all of the Archie comics. The self-obsessed character first appeared in 1942. Veronica. Veronica is not correct. Let me give you clue number two for 10 points. He enjoys making fun of his nemesis, Archie Andrews. The kind Archie Andrews. Sorry? Reggie. Reggie. Reggie is right. Reggie Mantle. I'm giving it to you for 10 points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, some of the quizzing is so good in this room, I can barely believe my eyes and ears. However, our teams are going to have to trust what they can see and hear in our next round, which is brought to them by Signal. This is the audiovisual round, boys. Rules for round four, audiovisual round. You will either be shown a picture or hear an audio clip, followed by a question. A total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not know the answer or gets it wrong. 10 points and 10 seconds for a direct question, five points and five seconds for a passed on question. No negative marks. We clear with that. All right. Delhi Private School, Sharjah, starting with you. In the audiovisual round, you get a visual clue. Have a look and then I will give you the question. Identify the company from this logo. Rolex. Rolex it is, 10 points, good. Abu Dhabi Indian School, Abu Dhabi. I'm gonna give you an audio clip 
to listen to and then wait for my question. Can we have the clip, please? I'm going to step off the limb now. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Name the occasion or historic event at which these words were spoken. Neil Armstrong stepping on the moon, July 20, 1969. Well done. Very good. Very good. Fantastic. Are you interested in the space and all those things? Very good. Excellent job. Ten points to you too. Team C Emirates Future International Academy Abu Dhabi. I want your smile back. And for that, I'm going to give you a visual clue. Therefore, an opportunity is called ten points. Don't let it pass. Can we have the visual for my Team C? Now, boys, identify the film from this poster. Gravity. Gravity it is! Well done! Well done! Well done, all of you. Excellent job. After four rounds in this mental marathon, things are shaping up. They are hotting up. But there can only be one winner tonight. And as our teams well know, that could come down to a matter of perseverance. We also want you to persevere with your support. So please, for them, for me, don't go away. We'll be right back with the all-important final round soon. Right here on Star Plus, the pulse of South Asians in the Middle East. Welcome back, welcome back to the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. You could cut the tension with a knife as we sally forth into the fifth and final round for this episode. Now the phrase buzz off is an impolite way to tell a person to go away but it actually originated with the telephone. Yes, the telephone. Telephone used to signal at the end of a call. So-called buzzers were used to communicate messages in the original phone system. But our teams won't be buzzing off anywhere as we get into the final round at the buzzer. Rules for round five at the buzzer. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while it's being read. The team hitting the buzzer must answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Ten points for a correct answer, minus five points for an incorrect answer or no answer after hitting the buzzer. Hands on the buzzers. Are we ready? Question one. Which is the tallest mountain of Japan? Absolutely right. Well done. Question two. Into how many equal triangles do two diagonals divide a square? Two. Emirates Future International is your answer is? Two. Is incorrect. Question three. In which European city is the International Court of Justice look? The Hague, Netherlands. Absolutely right. Question four. What color jersey does the leader of the famous cycle race Tour de France wear? Orange or yellow? Yellow. Team A? Yellow. Yellow is absolutely right. Question five. In 1912, who reached the South Pole to find that Roald Amundsen had beaten him to it? Scott. Team B. Scott. What? Scott, Scott. Scott, Scott, what? Who's Scott? Uh, it is Scott. Who's Scott? I'm sorry, but I cannot give it to you. I need his full name. The answer is incomplete. Moving on, question six. The last question. What is the largest integer one can make using only the digits two, four, six, eight? Eight is four, two. You're right. Eight, six, four, two. Well done. We're almost over and out. But I had to use all of my perseverance just to keep up with these whippersnappers. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Fabulously played. Now, let me tell you where we stand with the final score tally for today. The last of the heats. Wow. At second runner-up position, maybe even they have guessed... We have our boys from Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi, with 20 points. 
I mean, unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing you from the semi-final journey onwards. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much. See you next time. Now, in a stupendous show of brains and timing, we have at the number one runner-up position, Abu Dhabi Indian School Abu Dhabi with 65 points. And we have winners in Delhi Private School Sharjah with 70 points. <laughs> Mr. Scott let you down there, my friend Fez. But your effort and what you have done, I'm sure has earned the respect of even the winning team. Congratulations once again, each and every one of you. Well done and thank you once again. Well, we'll be seeing Delhi Private School Sharjah in the semi-finals, which begin next week. So please don't forget. But as I give each of our contestants a star knowledge crystal, I want the teams we are farewelling to remember the five Bs. Bid bye-bye, but be back next year. Before we go, a little bit of trivia for our knowledge-hungry audiences. You, you wonderful people at home. Hope you've got space for more. Speaking of which, did you know that the Palm Jumeirah in Dubai can be seen from space? It's the world's largest artificial island, adding 520 kilometers to the Emirates shoreline. Wow, isn't that something? Well, that's all for this week. See you all next week for the seventh episode of the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015 and the first round of the semifinals in the fifth season. Until then, stay smart. Thank you.